In this video, we're going to find the maximum value of an objective function given constraints by graphing. They give you a system of inequalities here, and then they have this equation, p of x comma y, which is equal to 41x plus 6y plus 2. And they want you to find the maximum for this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph these four inequalities and find our feasible region and then we're going to take some of those coordinates and we're going to plug them into this equation to see what's the maximum. First thing I need to do is put these into these two equations here into slope intercept form. I'm going to subtract 2x on each side and that'll be y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 4. And then this one will be y is less than or equal to negative x plus 10. Then we'll draw a coordinate plane. And when I graph these, I'm going to be uh, cognizant of making sure that I <laughs> draw them really well. If I don't draw them really, really well, it'll be tough to find the coordinates or the endpoints. So we're going to start by marking uh, the y-intercept 4 there for the first equation. And then I'm going to go down 2 over 1. So down 2 over 1. I'll probably mark a bunch of coordinates, down 2 over 1. Go down 2 more over 1. And then maybe one more time, down 2 over 1. Want to try to make the straightest line possible. It says what we need to graph this greater than or equal to the line, so y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 4, we should probably check 0, 0. So y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 4, we're going to check 0, 0. 0 greater than or equal to negative 2 times 0 plus 4. 0 greater than or equal to 4, that's false. So we want to shade away from this 0, 0 spot. So we're going to be shading this direction. Now I'm going to graph this y less than or equal to negative x plus 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the y-intercept. And if I'm going down 1 over 1, I'll eventually end up on the x-axis at 10 as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can draw this line here. And then I need to check y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 10. I want to check 0, 0. So that's 0 greater than or equal to 0 plus 10. 0. Oop, I wrote that wrong. That's less than or equal to. My bad. You can see it right there, less than or equal to. So 0 less than or equal to 10, that is true. So we're going to shade this direction. Then I have x greater than or equal to negative 2. Well, negative 2 is out here. I'm going to draw a bold line at negative 2. And that would be shaded this direction. And then we have y greater than or equal to negative 2. So that would be a flat line here. And that would be shaded this direction. So you can see what we're really getting here is We're getting this region that is shaded. I'm going to shade all this, this piece here. We're going to get this area is all shaded. And we have some different coordinates that we need to look at. So we've got this coordinate here, which would be 3, 2. Uh, this coordinate out here, see if I continued this line, this line had a slope of negative 1. So it would go down 1 over 1. 
and down one over one that would have gotten us to that point so that would be the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's twelve comma negative two so we got three two which is Sorry, I wrote that wrong. That's three negative two. I'll write that again. This coordinate is three negative two. This coordinate, which is an endpoint, is twelve negative two. Up here, if I continued going up two, so this was down two over one. If I go up two over one, I'd get to that point right here. And then I go up two more over one. It's kind of off a little bit because my line, I should have extended more points. This line is actually touching this spot at that point. So we're going to go up two over one, up two over one. This point is really a coordinate. My line here is off. That's a coordinate, and that's kind of like an, an edge of this piece here. And that would be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, negative, or uh, sorry, negative 2, 8. And then this other piece, this was going uh, down 1 over 1. If I go up 1 over 1 and then up 1 over 1, I'd land right here. And that would be at a coordinate of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'd be 12 in the Y and negative 2 in the X. So those are our four coordinates that we need to check. So down here, I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to say P of, let's start with negative 2, 12. That would be equal to 41 times negative 2 plus 6 times 12 plus 2. Go ahead and use my calculator to do that. 41 times negative 2 plus 6 times 12 plus 2. You get negative 8. Let's check P of negative 2, 8. That'd be 41 times negative 2 plus 6 times 8 plus 2. So that would be negative 32. Let's check P of 3 negative 2. That's 41 times 3 plus 6 times negative 2 plus 2. And that's 113. And then let's go with P of 12 negative 2. That's 41 times 12 plus 6 times negative 2, plus 2. And you get 482. So when we're maximizing this, we can see that this is the largest number here, 482. So our coordinate 12, negative 2 gives us that maximum of 482.